All right, these are the generators I maintain. It's about, uh, I want to say 50 of them, but they're different brands. One of them, I can't even get to it. The black one, I have to try to remember to take a picture and put it in. But the Furman is the one that I like the least. And the reason why I say like the least, because all three of them, I really, really like. The Generex is there. And th this one here, right here, is a Generex with the start, the starter on it. Now, the hours on it, uh, probably can't even see it. It's 5,837 hours on that one. This one is 5,120 hours. This one here, you can't see the hours unless you start it, but I think it's 5,349. I'm going to start it up and see. Five thousand three hundred and forty nine now all these generators in them they're they're tens in my books because these generators do not just take a light run I put numbers on them I have to put some numbers on these right here because they go out I got number seven running right now out here is 95 degrees fahrenheit and it's been 95 degrees for a while from since like around tuesday it's friday right now this is number seven number seven And it's running. Um, number seven has been running from since Wednesday at nine o'clock in the morning, nonstop. It's been running in this temperature, out in the sun, straight. So by the time it comes back over here, it'll be running for. I think it's uh, nine days straight. Nine days. Eight of the days is 24 hours. And the ninth day is like around six to six to eight hours. So that's why I, I would say if you're going to abuse a generator because that's what it is, then get one of those. I'll have to take a picture of the one more inside and see if I can see the hours on it but these generators go through the mountains um, they have to keep that big building dehumidify so going through the the temperature changes cold and hot it has to do it if it fails they literally have to take the whole building back apart because it's um electrical gear inside completely connected if the moisture gets on it they have to take it all apart, which takes them, you know, another week or just work when it's already built. So that's what I got here today. But if you thinking about getting a generator, that would be one of them. This one here, I took off of an old one to replace the caps on this one here. It just the caps were broken so I replaced them the old one which still runs but it has a, a bad surge when it's running I just don't like um, it was close to 10,000 hours okay I came in the building this was a snapper and 
it has 2,133 hours, still runs beautiful. Now, all these are generators. I'm going to go to the one that didn't even make the cut. Number one, it does not have an hour meter on it. It's a Craftsman. Caught on fire. Blew out the valve on the intake. Less than 2,000 hours. We don't buy any more. It is so hot. Um, I just went in there, took the video of the the other two, as you can see, and the Craftsmans. Just stay away from them if you're going to be running them anywhere like these guys run them here. Construction, just don't even bring them out there. These right here, I'd say, is very very good. The out of all of them that's there, this would get me number one and number two. The snapper is just, ah, if if you got to run something, it's okay. It still runs good, so that's good. And then the Craftsman just stay away. This is a gallon. Gallon of water. On Wednesday, I went through three of those. Today, I've been through two. Yesterday, I had one and a half, but I was indoors then. So that's about it. If you're looking for a generator, then I would suggest one of those.